Hello, Alex Scorpio here once more with another Warhammer Bionicle video. This one focusing more on the Custodes and Makuta. Rather short one, because honestly, there's not much. When it comes to the good old Banana Boys, they have an impressive armament. It's basically everything the Space Marines have, but actually uh, better and way more functioning. And of course, uh, bio biologically connected. So only the single custodians can use whatever weapon it's going to use. Now you pitch them against a Makuta, 1v1, the Makuta is more likely going to win. If it's a non-named one. If it's one of the named ones, Goras, Antras, Miserix, Icarix, or Teradex, say goodbye to the Banana Boy, especially Valdor. No, he's gone. I'm sorry. You were foolish to think otherwise. Because once more, I'm going to exp uh, tell you something. Icarix was able to tank, not move, from Toagali's Nova Blast. And that was where she collected as much water as she could. And it completely leveled everything on the island. Icarix did not move a centimeter. He didn't even move a millimeter. When it was all said and done, he's standing in the same spot, laughing. He did not move. A custodes could not say the same thing. He's being moved. Then, of course, there is the 42 abilities, as I have stated before, and whatever mask power either of the Makuta are going to use. And in the case of Teradax, he has the Mask of Shadows, and as I have... Uh, Hopefully had corrected. Did in the, I did in the comments and may have in another video. But Teradax's Mask of Shadow allows him to not just make someone feel fear or anger and control the very shadows themselves. It allows him to see into the deepest pits of your mind. Whatever fear you have buried, he will find it and he will exploit it. Because again, the 42 abilities. Now, I am going to say when it comes to the 10,000 custodians as a whole versus any of the five um, Makuta I think they would all do terribly against, Teradax again, Miserix, Icarix, Antrons, and Krika. reason I find they would uh, fare so badly is because it's the 10,000 with their entire armament. And their entire armament is something that each of the Makuta can use against them. They have plasma-based weaponry, the Custodes. The Makuta can control plasma. They can control gravity. They can cause illusions. They can make plant life grow. They can make tornadoes, tsunamis, lightning. And to keep the fight fair, the Makuta, all beings in fact from the Bionicle franchise, need to not be in any capacity connected to the war. They're connected to the warp. Only ones that actually will stand a chance will be chaos, and they themselves would end up crying. Because out of all franchises, all little themes and shit, Bionicle beats Warhammer by being Bionicle. <laughs> Argue in the comments. I, that's part of the reason why I do these. I want conversation. <laughs> 